Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do an Aries love prediction reading for October 24th through October 31st. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or anyone else's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If my reading resonates with you, or if you enjoy my reading, please give me a like or a subscription. I will be most humbled, honored, and very grateful if you decide to give me a like or subscription. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my impulsive, kind, sweet, loving Aries. Show me spirit, guys. What's going on, my Aries? What's going on, my winners? What's going on, my Aries? What's going on, spirit, guys? And my lovable, impulsive, kind, sweet Aries. Let's see what you got going on, Aries. Let's see. I have the three of pentacles. I have the strength card. The magician. I have the moon. And I have the six of cups. Well, Aries, this is a relationship that you're in or someone that's around you. I have the three of pentacles that leads your reading. And the three of pentacles is always about getting together. And when you get together, it's like it's a team. You're a team. Whomever you're with, whomever you've been with, it's a team. It's teamwork. I mean, you and this person, when it comes to building together, learning together, growing together, it's, it's a team. Teamwork makes a dream work. That's what that Three of Pentacles is all about. Putting a team together or having a team to grow. And this Three of Pentacles card says that you got it. You have a team with them. With them, you are a team. You feel that energy. You know. Both you and them know that you are a team together. But here's the problem, Aries. That Strength card is there next. And, and the Strength card is trying to put all the pieces together. Somebody's trying to tame the other one. It's like you're a team, but it's like egos get in the way. I'm, I'm very honest. Egos get in the way with this strength card, putting all the pieces together, but the pieces don't all come together. It's like you guys get together and you're together and you're doing good. And then next thing you know, here comes someone that wants to do something different or someone that wants to lead something and two people cannot lead. So whomever this is, a strength card can be a Leo as well, but it's, it's also about two people trying to lead you've got it with the three of pentacles leading your reading this is a this can be very much you can grow into a power couple but the problem is is that you both want to lead and the egos get in the way one of you see the strength card see on this strength card she's trying to tame this tiger trying to bring this tiger in to think or this lion excuse me in to think like her well that's not how a, a relationship works that's not how a relationship works a relationship works by compromise, and there is no compromise here. There is no compromise. All is good when it comes to um, the Three of Pentacles here. When I say the Three of Pentacles, um, building together, working together, all is good. But then there's something right here when it comes to um, you getting on the same page. It's ego. The egos are in the way. Now, let me tell you, you can't. You might have um, good um, energy with someone when it comes to building a business. But the same energy to build a business is not the same energy that you need to build a relationship. And I believe that's what's happening here. Now, here's what's interesting, though. In the middle of your reading, you, you really, really want. You really, really want this relationship because you're asking the universe. The magician card is manifestation. The magician card is asking the universe for this situation. Asking the universe to bring you guys together so that you can build and grow and love. You've already got the build and grow part down. But there's always something here 
when the ego comes in with this strength card. Someone doesn't want to acquiesce. There cannot, there has to be a leader and there has to be a follower, especially even when it comes to, especially when it comes to a love relationship. Both people cannot lead and that is the problem. And here's a magician, like I said, here you are asking the universe to please bring this person, um, bring this person or bring this relationship, put it all together, make this relationship, spirit guys, universe, make this relationship work, but it's not working because here's the moon here. This person is, is hmm. This relationship is just a lot of. I see a lot of back and forth. You know, a lot of back and forth. The moon card means that there's a lot of illusions there when it comes to this relationship. There, I mean, it's like it's it's just like the energies cannot connect. The energies are not connecting because here's this moon card, and you see the the animal is howling at the moon. It looks like this is probably a dog or a wolf, but they're howling at the moon because. This relationship drives you crazy because you see so much goodness. But remember what I said, the same thing that comes with a business relationship is not the same when it comes to a love relationship. Someone has to lead and someone has to follow. And that is the problem that you're having right now. Two people cannot lead. And here's the Six of Cups at the end of this um, read here. And the Six of Cups is all about... Um, Coming back together. And like I said, with the moon card here, it's like a you come together and you break up. You come it's a on and off relationship. This six of cups means that you know this person. You've been together with this person. This may have even been someone that you've had you've known for quite some time. You've had a good relationship with them. There are good memories here. That's why it's very hard to release this. But what I say again is that a relationship that based with when it comes to Work is not the same when it comes to love. And you've got to figure that out. Someone's got to lead. Someone's got to follow. So, Aries, let me see. If you give me three to five minutes, let's see. Let me clarify the read for you to see exactly um, if the universe wants to give us some additional information about this love. About this love. Show me, spirit guys. Show me, universe. Show me, spirit guys. Why is the three of pentacles here? Sit back, relax. Let me see what the spirit guys want to show us additional information. Why is the three of pentacles here for my... For my um Aries, show me spirit guys. Well, I have this the uh six of swords, the six of swords, which means that you are actually moving away. You're moving away from this. Um when it comes to this teamwork makes a dream work, you want love. You want love, and you're moving away from, from the business side or, or just looking at this from a purely uh, business type of situation, you want love with them. You want love with them. You want to. You already got this part down, the uh, building and growing part. You've got that, and you're moving away from that because you want love. You want love. So let's see. Show me, spirit guys. Why is the strength card here? Let's see. Oh, I have the four of swords. The four of swords. Four of swords is like you're taking the time out. This is a break. And I, I know this quite truly, too, because you have the Six of Cups at the end of your reading. This is a break. This is a break. You've taken a break because two people cannot lead. Someone has to follow. And right now, both people want to lead. And you cannot do that. So let's see why the Magician card is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Magician card here? Four Swords means you're taking a time out. You're contemplating. You've, this is a break in a relationship because with this Strength card, the egos are in the way. Because both cannot lead. So let's see why the magician card is here. Show me spirit guides. Oh, I have the king of wands. King of wands is always my husband card. Is what I'm looking at. Can be a fire sign. Someone that wants to lead. King of wands does lead. And you, whomever this is, they want to lead. They want to lead and they want someone to follow them. This is what you're asking for. You're asking for a husband. You're asking for a leader. That's what you're asking for. The magician card is manifestation. You are asking the universe to bring a leader to you. And this king of wands has shown up. But now we've got to get the energies together, the egos out the way so that this can move into the relationship that it needs to be. Because you've asked for it and here the universe has shown you. It's there for you. So let's see why the moon card is here. Show me, spirit guys. Why is the moon card here? Show me. Oh, I have the seven of wands. Seven of wands. <sighs> you know, the seven of wands for me is someone that has their butt on their shoulders. And when I say that, someone that has their, that is um, always def in defense mode. 
always in the defense mode, always got the, you know, got something. What's wrong with them? Who? It's always like to me, it's someone with an attitude that that um that always has something. Um, that um, I always say they actually who pissed in your oatmeal today. I mean, that's the kind of energy that I get from a Seven of Wands with this relationship. Because it's over the moon card. And this is an on and off um, type situation. This is They piss you off, but you still love them. They piss you off because you can't, but you can't have your way with them. And that's what pisses you off. And here you are always trying to defend yourself when it comes to them. Why you want it one way. Someone has to lead and someone has to follow for a relationship. Now let's see why the Six of Cups is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the six of cups here? Show me spirit guides. Why is the six of cups here? Oh, and I have the seven of swords. Yeah. So there's been betrayal here as well. There has been betrayal. Betrayal. That is why you're getting you're you're trying to get back to, with someone. The six of cups here is hard to let this person go because there's been betrayal here. Um, there, um, I don't know what happened, but I do believe, like I said, there was too much ego here. Now let's start at the beginning. The three of pentacles, this is a relationship that when you were together, the teamwork was on point. I mean, you guys were moving and growing and shaking and doing those things, but the love wasn't there because here's the six of swords because you're moving away from the, the teamwork aspect. You got that. You understand that. But the strength card says that you want to bring someone in. You want to love them. And here's the problem. Because you've been so much in this mode with them, with this growing together and all of them, you don't have the, the love is not equal here. And what has happened is there's two egos that are in the way, but you love each other. But there's two egos that are in the way. And here is the four of swords. And the four of swords is all about you taking a, a break. You're taking a break from this person because what has happened is that the ego has gotten in the way of this relationship. The same thing it takes to build a business or to have this type of teamwork makes a dream work mentality is not the same when it comes to loving someone because someone has to acquiesce. There has to be a leader and there has to be a following. That is the problem here. So you're taking a time out because you're asking the universe, so this magician card here, you've asked the universe for something. And what the universe delivered to you was a king of wands, which means a husband. You want, a, you want a husband. And the king of wands is a leader, a husband card. But here's a moon card here because the moon card means it's delusional. Something has happened here. Something has been remiss here because you are all into this relationship makes you crazy. It's almost like it makes you crazy in your head because when I say that, it's like it's all delusional. It's illusions. Every time you think something is, it's not. And here you're always defending yourself. Like I said, you are always got your butt on your shoulders about something when it comes to this relationship. And here's the six of cups. This is someone you've known, but they also betrayed you. You're trying to get back together with them and you're hoping to get back together with them. But the Seven of Swords means that they have betrayed you. 